So I have this uh, set up. Uh, first of all, the goal uh, doing all of this is to uh, get around the fail to enter programming mode that often happens when you're using Admiral uh, with the Admiral Studio and Admiral Ice programmer. So first of all, I have this piece of C program. This piece of C program is running on my small home built board. So this is a home built board without a uh, without a crystal on it. So I'm relying on the internal RC oscillator, uh, and I'm running with a uh, one megahertz uh, frequency. Uh, so right now I'm using this to blink an LED, so it's on for one second, off for one second, um, and I'm using it. This with a, it's actually running with an eight megahertz internal oscillator, and then when with, with a clock division of eight, and I want to change that eventually. So uh, the thing is, if I go and so what normally happens is, so is I want to go and uh, reprogram the fuses for this uh, setup. And uh, what I normally do is I go and choose the device programming. Uh, here I go. And then it goes, the Admiral Ice is busy. Okay, so I better, I better stop this. So I'll stop this, maybe click uh, to stop this first. I'll stop debugging and then I'll go again at Mega using the uh, Admiral Ice uh, tool and I'm using not the debug wire but the ISP in which I'll apply. I'll set this uh, ISP clock frequency and then I'll uh, go into the fuses. But it's grayed out, and I get this error failed to enter programming mode. So that's what you often see when you are trying to program the fuses. So the way to get around this is that you need to go and uh, you need to go and look it in the debug window. There you can see there's something called disable debug wiring close. So it all comes down to uh, the behavior of Admiral Studio and the Admiral Ice device. Uh, so it's kind of like uh, here I can't disable debug wire and close, but somehow the Ice system still think, thinks that debug wire is up. So there's a mismatch between this, the mode of the program and the mo mode of the Admiral Ice. So to get to that point, what I need to do is I need to uh, start uh, debugging again. That could be start without debugging or continue. Uh, if I do that, it will uh, stay running down there. And now I'm able to go into debug and I can choose this disable debug wire and close. So once this is chosen, the debug a uh, wire is stopped and the state of the debug wire is known to the Admiral Ice as well as to Admiral Studio. So now if I choose device programming and I choose apply, I choose set the ISP clock frequencies and I go to fuses. Now I can see things are coming up. I can now go and change uh, the fuses. So what I really want to change here is I want to take away the clock division by eight. So I want to run eight megahertz instead of eight mega divided by eight. Um, and then I want to program that, which seems to be okay. Um, and then I want to close this. Um, and I can actually already see my the flashing goes up with a factor of about eight. So it's uh, so the speed is already rising. 
if I go, here's another thing, if I go start debugging, I might end up with a programming error. Yeah, it goes fail to launch debug session with debug wire. Uh, and then it's something about the reset line circuitry. Um, my reset line circuitry disabled. Uh, and then it goes, make sure that the reset line is free. And I know the reset line is free. There's no problem there. Uh, and then it goes, we want SPI to enable the DVEN fuse. Yes, sure, I do that. When I do that, it goes, debug wires enable, and then it goes, toggle target power, and then click OK. So to toggle target power, I need to unplug or take off power to my uh, development board, and I need to make sure that the power is off. So there may be a capacitor there that takes a while to discharge. When it's off, I'll plug it in again. And I will click OK. And it will start uh, running, as I can see down in the lower left corner. So now I'm back. If I look at my code, uh, the code here, I should adjust the frequency of the CPU to being uh, 8 uh, megahertz because that's the oscillator frequency that I have obtained now. And then I should uh, build my project. And I want to stop debugging this, please. And after building my project, I should uh, run the project again, maybe start without debugging. And it's ready. And the speed is back to turn on and off with one second on, one second off intervals. And that ends this little session. Thank you so much.